Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of this. Uh, it's called Isonic. Isonic. Uh, it's jewelry uh, concentrate for ultrasonic cleaners. And this is an ultrasonic cleaner I have here. And we're going to use this uh, with that. And we're going to clean some jewelry that we have here and we're going to put them into little baskets and I'm going to dilute them according to the instructions that at room temperature. That's one jug and two jugs. So I'm going to put five capfuls of this into it. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you don't fill this too high. I have lots of jewellery here that needs cleaning and the, these uh, little uh, baskets they open by pulling the two wings like this. And uh, so what we will do is I have a watch there as well. Don't put a watch into this. You can put the case in after you strip the watch down. Uh, gold watch, it's a solid gold watch. I'm going to put that in there separately. And uh, I have some rings I'm going to put into this big one here. This ring here is from 1900. It was my grandmother, great grandmother's wedding ring in 1901. We have uh, my, my wife's wedding ring. I'm going to put in here with the diamond and then she's going to get it reset because the diamond fell out of it and it's a substantial diamond. And her wedding ring as well, which is 18 carat white gold as well. So I have an old ring I had from when I worked in London in the early 1980s. I will put that in there as well. I think what I will do is I will put a separate one. I will put the white gold rings into this one separate. Diamond is 0.5 of a carat, which is quite a big diamond. And it's a good clarity as well. So uh, make sure you close the lids on these things. Now what we're going to do is uh, next after this, uh, I'm just going to put the rest of this in here now, in there with the normal gold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on now and I'm going to put, I'm going to close these baskets. So I'm going to put uh, these four baskets, there's five all together. I'm going to uh, put the, the chain uh, onto the top of the basket so it's easier to take them out then afterwards. So we'll. And then we put that into the liquid. Now what we're going to do next then is, I'm going to soak that down into the liquid. They're all down, submerged. The other one we have nothing in it. Make sure we have nothing left behind that we don't want to clean. So we will set it for 25 minutes, something like that. And press start. And then we will go over and the water was reasonably warm, it's 34 degrees, the water, and I want to get 60, so but we will leave it at 60, and we will press on as well, and the temperature should start rising there, and then we will, we, so we have 25 minutes to go, and the temperature should start going up now. Now you can hear the buzzing from it, that's the ultrasonic working. They tell you not to take the cover off the top while you're doing it. And uh, of course, everybody does. So we'll, we'll roll the clock forward now to uh, 20 minutes. Now we have one minute left to go. Uh, it says on the instructions uh, to check the temperature that it may go over the 60 and to turn it off then. Uh. Okay, so it stopped its buzzing like a bee now. And uh, as I said, uh, we turn off the temperature as it may go over the temperature itself. So I'm going to turn off the main switch. The unit is hot on the outside. Not, it, uh, you can touch it just about, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove uh, the tray now. Uh, make sure it's not too hot for you. And uh, it's not. And I'm going to take out the tray like this. And uh, I'm going to put the cover back on. This is good for another job. They say uh, after a half an hour, let it rest for a while. So we're going to rest. I have, I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to clean a bracelet of another watch that's very, very old, and I'm going to do it on its own as soon as these are done. But I may give these a second go because some of them are very dirty. Some of them are going to be rhodium plated. I'm going to rhodium plate the two uh, white gold uh, wedding bands. Oh, they've gone a lot cleaner, but that's cleaned up very well, this one. Uh, maybe rinse it again and my uh, great-grandmother's ring, dark gold, and it came up uh, and it's cleaned on the inside as well. And I can read the hallmark on it. Me... Oh, my watch came out nice and clean now. There we go. My old watch. Wow. Now that's nice. That's like new. Now, and in here where it was cleaned, this is just push in, it's not a waterproof, it's a dress watch and it's a very small men's watch. Now they are, well, that's, the, that's the, the diamond which I have to keep separate. And uh, they're all clean on the inside, I can see the writing and the, my name is written on that one. The, remember these, how filthy these all were because they were all put away. This white gold one with the diamonds on it, 18 carat gold necklace, unusual one. Uh, you just pat them dry and that's all. This has gone very shiny now, this one. So that's my review on the Isonic cleaner. Uh, of course, I can use this bath again. I'm going to use it again and I'm just going to let it cool down a little bit first. And uh, yes, this uh, stuff actually works. Uh, and it's, uh, not, it's quite inexpensive. So I will put a link in the description where I bought it. I bought it on Amazon. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe.